Um, so my question is actually for Dr. Takeyushi, and it's a little bit more in the economics terms of uh, the things that are going on in Hong Kong. And Hong Kong seems to be a very crucial part of Chinese econ economics, and that the protests do cause some economic instability for Hong Kong, uh, for China in general. Um, and my question is, in face of the trade wars and perhaps continuation or increase of the trade wars, um, is it feeble, feasible to believe that the trade wars can have an impact on how China responds to the protests trying to bring some more stability on that side? So um, a causation or a consequence as a consequence of what is going on with the U.S. itself. Okay. Um, so... Uh, well, so I think that uh, the question is about uh, how like, uh, um, how uh, current uh, U.S. Um, administration's uh, policy of uh, trade war influences uh, uh, Xi Jinping's uh, response to Hong Kong. And uh, the shortest answer is it would have a negative impact on um, uh, Xi Jinping's uh, response to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. The reason is, uh, I know we often, we means that you know, Americans often um, misunderstand that you know, Xi Jinping is really like, you know, focusing on how to handle um, U.S.-China trade war. Uh, and then it is true that the you know, U.S. relationship with the United States is the most important relationship, international relationship for, uh, for China. But point is, uh, for Xi Jinping, the most important thing is the domestic stability. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, he has to think about uh, many issues before thinking about the most important international relations. So uh, he has to think about the political struggle in elite politics. He has to think about how to manage the local politics and then make sure that the central local relationship is uh, for uh, local governments following the central uh, order. And the third, uh, state society relations. There are so, uh, so many groups of the people uh, in China uh, so, uh, who, uh, who are, uh, have um, have a uh, dissatisfaction uh, with the current situation, um, namely uh, farmers, workers, and eth min ethnic minorities. And uh, so the Chinese government has to um, uh, make them at least uh, satisfied enough with the regime so that uh, they would not start protest. And then next is Hong Kong. <laughs> so uh, actually Hong Kong and Taiwan are actually the um, different issues from um, international relations. So, um, so for Xi Jinping, the priority is really like Hong Kong is more important than the relationship with the United States. So uh, now uh, Trump is really giving the pressure to, uh, to uh, uh, Xi Jinping administration. So it's like, uh, you know, for, from the Xi Jinping's perspective, it's like, uh, you know, the one more uh, troubles are added. Uh, but still, uh, it's more important to um, uh, maintain the stability in Hong Kong. And then it's a very uh, difficult, um, um, difficult thing. Uh, one thing that I would add is uh, actually the current like, U.S. policy towards China is really like, uh, um, empowering nationalists in the elite politics of Beijing. And then this is actually a bad news uh, for, uh, for Beijing because uh, uh, nationalists are facing the internationalists. And the internationalists are the ones that, who are really like, appreciate the more cooperative foreign policy. So in that sense, um, now, uh, internationalists uh, in Beijing uh, are uh, very um, really undermined uh, because of the Trump's policy uh, toward China. And then, so in that sense, so, so overall, I think that uh, uh, the U.S.-China trade war has a negative impact uh, on uh, Xi Jinping's options to uh, handle uh, protests in Hong Kong. Hmm. Dr. Wilson, with the last words. 